The journey of our beach house renovation continues. For the last seven months, we've had our garage heaving with baths, cupboards, and recycled pieces of material that we've been so in waiting for the day that it gets called to sight. Today was that special day. in here for the space now en route to our building site super enthused about the drive we took a family road trip to go and bask under a beautiful olive tree and see what our new roof held in store. How is this transformation? To think this is what the site looked like 10 days ago and now we're looking like this. It really is starting to feel like a home now that we have a roof on board. There's still plenty of work but come journey with me as I show you what's going on inside our beach house reno. We're now five weeks away from move-in date on the 15th of December, and this is how the site's looking. I've come to visit today with Donnie Lowe from 80 Squared Architects. He's an architect on the project, but also a very dear friend. In fact, so close, he was the best man at our wedding and is the godfather to our two kids. Donnie's vision in terms of space and how he translates spaces to become livable family homes is a ridiculous talent. I marvel. It's so much fun to work with someone you know on a home, it's intimate and they challenge you to the crazy thinking and unpack what you are all about. These cupboards were an absolute mission to get here, but how useful it is to have the cupboards to plan the layout of the kitchen. It's not something that you would normally do and it feels like we're playing Lego for adults. Let's go. Down back, the sink, and then fridge over here. I level oven. Seems to be working. Here we're entering a bit of more of a calmer space. This passage has the most incredible gallery feel. I'm getting ahead of myself imagining some beautiful prints on these walls, turning on the light switches, and just embracing these incredible spaces. We're at the stage of the project where we're starting to choose finishes, looking at tiles. I'm going to be working with lime green sourcing in terms of how we are going to bring these bathrooms to life and I'm hoping to do something a little bit out of the ordinary, not your conventional, so that these spaces can feel fun and lived in. Creating extra zones such for shelving, um, storage in a bathroom is essential. You can see we've even placed the bath here just to give a feel of how the space is going to work. The roof is on. And the next phase is going to be taking place of including the insulation. Look at that beautiful uh, layout. I love how on site we have these laminated plans that everyone can reference at any stage. If you need to know what's going on, they're super efficient in helping the team navigate what's going on where. The guys are insulating inside the ceiling before we putting the ceiling boards in, as well as um, doing some stone cladding. Which I'll show you, we've salvaged a whole lot of rocks that were in our yard and we're repurposing them to give the house a bit of texture, give it that coastal crowded feel. I marvel at this artisanal talent that you can take rocks and turn them into puzzle pieces and build such a beautiful mural. So exciting! And this is what 48 hours and a whole lot of talent gives you our cladded walls made from rocks from our site. What's going on and walk you through the action. Very nice to see the transformation underway. Here you can see we've started insulating the roof and some of those beautiful open beams. Some of these areas are going to be treated with ceiling panels, others are going to be open rafters. So that's where we sign off from the second episode of our house renovation. 
I can't get over how much has changed in 10 days and I look forward to the next one. Thank you for journeying with us and getting to know the space a little bit better. I look forward to introducing you to many of the exciting partners that have come on board and some of the sponsors in the next episodes as we start to select finishes and some foundational elements to bring our home to life.